to tell a story we got four ways to tell a story we got four ways to tell a story won't you listen with us the blunders accounting catastrophe by christina soon illustrated by colin jack it wasn't even lunchtime, and the ten blunder children were driving their mother up the wall. They'd blundered the laundry. They'd blundered the bathtub. They'd let the hamsters out and the dog in, and the entire house was one giant blundered-up disaster. Their mother's ears were the color of a ripe tomato. That's enough! Go play outside and give me some peace. Yes, mother and keep track of each other. We will. I want all 10 of you home by sunset. We promise. The children played outside for hours in the cool of the creek where there wasn't much they could blunder up. It was getting late when they finally remembered their promise to their mother. Everybody line up, said Betty. Time to do a head count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh-oh, I think we lost one. Let me do it, said Brenda. You've got to tap everyone on the head as you're counting, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, we lost one. Calm down, said Bruce. Try it this way. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Siete, ocho, nueve. You're right. We did. We lost one. Let me handle this, said Bernice. Raise your hand if you're lost. Hmm. Everyone who's here, say I. I, 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 I. Bill counted backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. E gads. Bo counted by twos. Two, four, six, eight. Huh? Criminy. Bonnie counted by threes. Three, six, nine. For the love of waffles. It was no use. No matter what they did, they only came up with nine. The sun was setting. The sky was turning red. It made them think of their mother. But what are we going to tell her? wailed Bess. Everybody, just keep cool, said Barnaby. Let's tell her that one of us had to attend an important business meeting and will be home shortly, said Ben. This sounded like a very good idea. By the time they walked in, their mother's ears were as red as boiled beets. Where on earth have you been? One of us had a business meeting. Far, far away. In Iceland. Farther than that. In Idaho. And they'll be short homely. The children started to spin more tales about the business meeting. But when they saw the ten plates set out lovingly on the dinner table, they broke down. Oh, mother, we're so sorry. We lost one of us. We counted and counted, but there's only nine. We blundered the whole thing. Their mother put her hands on her hips. She looked down at her weeping children and hugged them. Would you look at that? She said softly. I think I may have found the tenth one. To prove it, she counted each of them with a kiss. Bruce, Betty, Ben, Bill, Brenda, Bo, Bonnie, Bess, Bernice, and Barnaby. That night after dinner, their mother held up two empty pie tins. What happened to all the pie? We didn't want to blunder things up again. So we divided up the pie extra carefully and made sure to count ourselves this time. Twice. The end. so many ideas about picture books and programs and, and I want to tell you all of them right now. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. um, we can read all the new picture books and we 
can do some science programs and, and we can and we can dust all of the books and, and we can paint the wall. Right okay, Miss Jill, Miss Jill, Miss Jill, I have a job for you, yeah? Okay. Okay, why don't you go around the library and count things? <gasps> count things. Yes, I can do that. What things, Miss Mary? The door handles, because I need to I need to know how many door handles there are so I can hang things on them. Okay, Miss Mary, I'm gonna go count the door handles. <laughs> Miss Mary, Miss Mary, there are 31 door handles in the building. Okay. Which is really cool, because did you know that 31 is a prime number? It can only be divided by itself and the number one. Interesting. Um, okay, how about you count all the windows now? Yes! <sighs> Miss Mary, Miss Mary! There are 80 windows in the building. Did you, yeah, did you know that 80 is another way to say four score? Because a score is 20. Whoa, Miss Jill, that's pretty cool. How about now you go around the library and count smiles? Can I start with yours? You are smiling at all this wonderful math, right? <laughs> yes, you can count me as one. One. <laughs> Miss Mary, Miss Mary, <laughs> I counted the smiles. There are six of us working today. So including yours, there were five smiles. Especially when I told the joke, why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Uh. <laughs> oh, I forgot to count my own smile. <laughs> that would be six smiles. Uh, Miss Jill, yes. just an idea. Why don't you go and count all the books? All the books? Yes! Wait, wait a minute. That's a lot of books. Why don't I write an ode to numbers since I love them so much? Would that be okay? Please do. I'll let you work quietly, Miss Mary. <laughs> okay, Miss Jill. All right, <laughs> I'm going to go write a poem. All right, make it a good one. An Ode to Numbers by Mrs. O.C. Have you ever seen a thing more perfect than a number you can add? The way a one stands at attention, so sure and strong and true. The sweet curve of a two as it angles to a point. The double bumps that form a three while meeting at its joint. A four posing like a tree could never make one blue. And the five that wears its top so sharp really makes me glad. Have you ever seen a thing more perfect than numbers that subtract? The jelly roll that is a six a perfect spiral shape. A seven says, I'm greater than the symbol that's not me. While eight is curved so endlessly, a twisting infinity. Nine, the superhero number, almost seems to wear a cape. The 10, the top, the double digit boss that's got their back. I love to count from one to 10, and then from 10 to one. Add, subtract, multiply, divide. Numbers are such fun. Hello, and welcome back to Let's Chat with Hilda Hat. I'm your host, Hilda Hat, and I am so happy to be back here in the warm, warm studio. <laughs> anyway, 
on to our interview for the day with Mrs. Blunder. Blunder. What an interesting name. Now, I know not all of you have the expertise of Miss Hilda Hat, and you may not know what blunder means. I sure did. I did not have anyone hand me a piece of paper two seconds ago to tell me what the definition of blunder is, and I'm certainly not um, going to read it out loud now. Uh, but uh, in, in case anyone was wondering, a uh, blunder is <clears throat> a stupid or careless mistake. Hmm. Interesting. What an interesting name. Interesting. Hello, Mrs. Blunder. Welcome. Hi, Hilda. So nice to be here. So, Mrs. Blunder, I've heard that your kiddos were having a hard time counting themselves and got into a little bit of trouble. Is this true? Let me tell you, it it was pretty silly. Bernice actually... Yes, 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 yes. But how did you figure it out? I'm sorry? Well, one of your children was missing. How did you find them? No, no. I don't think you understand what happened. I assume this means you're good at finding people. Er... Uh... What? All right, Mrs. Blunder, I'm going to come clean here. I'm sure you've guessed why we've asked you on the show today. Sorry, sorry? No, I... I can't say that I have. Really? Well, yeah, I, I thought it was obvious. There's been a, um, a hide-and-seek incident. I know, I know, we lost one of our producers. We thought we found every t everyone, but every time we count the producers, there's someone always missing. We all are very nervous, and we think we think he must have had a, a business trip to, to Iceland or, or, or Idaho because he's just gone. You know, I think I can help with that. Great, well. We are all very busy in the studio today, so we'll cut this interview a little bit short. That's all from Hilda Hat. Hilda out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.